Uh, okay, this is just a uh, different setup because uh, I am in my aunt's um, vacation home uh, here in Palm Spring and I'm ready to vlog for season 3. So let's go! So the first day is like um, when we arrive in the borders, uh, I was questioned by um, the authorities by 30 minutes and I've handled it alone very well. So my cousin ubered us to our one day, qu one night quarantine uh, in Anaheim. We yeah, I ate some snacks and I've ate some, and I've ate some hot dog from a convenience store uh, down by the next block, by the hotel inn that we were staying for that night, and and I was eating my uh, other aunt from my dad's side, uh, and uh, yeah, let's go to day two. <laughs> still had giant lag and I was not able to sleep well because uh, obviously the schedule in the Philippines is so different from LA. What happened was I sleep three hours alternatively when it reached 9 a.m. It was it was a decision that my aunt will pick us up and head to uh, an apartment of my cousin which is also near her so it's kind of very convenient. And plus we ate adobo which is a very decent lunch because we did not eat breakfast because like I said we didn't know where to buy we didn't the inn had no breakfast at all because I thought we would be provided with a free breakfast but at least it's free Wi-Fi so it was like 12 noon and then we would set off for Palm Springs at 2 p.m. to go here at this at my new aunt's home and when we reached Palm Spring we were able to buy some groceries we decided to stay at Palm for three days and uh, yeah make some decent adjustments at sleeping I think that kind of paved the way to my jet lag and also my parents as well so we ate uh, steak and had a good decent sleep for real this time <laughs> Day three, my friends, and uh, day three is your typical day. Uh, we were sorting out for another grocery, but this time one of my uncles is going with me to Walmart uh, because we're going to buy something if, in case we wanted to. And uh, my mom is going to buy advanced groceries because I am going to uh, stay here in California for the next three months to do all the processing, the immigration. And then I bought a birthday card for my cousin at Walmart. Uh, then we exited out to eat at Del Tacos and tried it for the first time. It's actually really good. And we were eating outside because there is no takeout method, there's no diet in, only drive through for some reason. I think we were better off uh, going home because uh, my dad is still tired. Um, he still has that jet lag feel, so we decided to go home. And my mom, pretty sure, is with my aunt right now to do some groceries. They, they were like arrived around 8 p.m. and we eventually ate at 9, then slept at 11 p.m. because uh, there were some of us like, uh, they were having some conversation uh, between my mom and my aunts because it's been a long time, like, ever since the pandemic and I'm, I'm just so glad that my mom was able to meet with her sisters once again. At the fourth day, we went to Capazon. We do some shopping there and the place feels like a wild west like because barely people are walking and and mostly people are doing online shopping right now these days and i'm pretty sure that's why it's like uh Cabazon. there's like little to no customers and some stores are like having some discounts it's like more of a uh, every everything has to go sale something like that and uh yeah pretty pretty sad stuff to look at but Things gotta move on. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the fourth day, so let's just skip to day five.
So, in day five, my aunt left for her daughter's birthday. We stayed here, and if in case we want to go home, uh, and Anna, I'm, we have uh, my uncle. And since at some point, maybe I want to go somewhere, because at some days my aunt is super busy, so never, if in case I want to go, uh, outside my uncle is there to save the day so anyway we ate at IHOP 8 30 which is like not my usual time to eat breakfast because it was because my usual time to eat breakfast is 10 a.m. and I'm not pretty pretty sure with the others but I think it, but it's a good thing that IHOP's there because IHOP is all day breakfast bro and then after that we had some hour shopping in any other store at Palm Spring and just went home and slept you know just uh, relaxing at the at this house of my aunts and then at 4 30 p.m. we decided to go at the downtown like more of a little crowded uh, city of Palm Spring. The musics were not that loud compared to Barakay before the pandemic, before the new rules, rules of this and that. But if there only was a beach and not a mountain, <laughs> that would have been better. But uh, yeah, but then, yeah, Palm Springs, uh, as, far, as far as I can feel and see, it's really cold and like uh, Anaheim. It's hot, but the wind is so cold. Sixth day, we ate breakfast, which is hot dog. And uh, it's laundry day, so I had to prepare some stuff to go back in Anaheim and a plan, which will be at the next vlog. Yeah, 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 you gotta be ready for that. And yesterday, I told you guys that we would just have a like, quick look at the downtown. Well, in this day, we went back at 6 p.m. to eat at a restaurant. We went to Calura. It's an Italian restaurant. And my favorite, my favorite pasta there, carbonara, is there. It's not that creamy because a real, a real carbonara, I've, you like, you research way back. And it's not actually creamy. It's just that Filipinos like uh, creamy stuff. <laughs> Pure cheese, that's all. It actually is. It's kind of interesting, you know. Ate some, ate some pizza as well. It's kind of decent. The place is good. Uh, when it's like when eating it like around 8 p.m. because here in Palm Spring, their sunset is 7 p.m. Another cool thing about this restaurant is free Parmesan cheese. On this next day, we just did groceries, and the next day after that, we went to CVS uh, Pharmacy so that we could settle our payments uh, for the for the immigrant fees and stuff. Uncle was there, so since it's the uh, three of us, we went to Jack in the Box to get, to get some quick sandwich. That was my first time tasting Jack in the Box and it's actually good. Then there you go, the last day at Palm Spring. <sighs> Preparation uh, before we went back to Anaheim. And this is like an amazing experience to see a new a new death of california i guess but the we the weather is the same and the cable car uh to respond is uh we weren't able we weren't able to go there because um didn't exceed much time to do do some uh, explorations here in Palm Spring that much i guess we just gonna stay here at home you know just like i said in the previous days but anyhow Wild experience still because my cousins my cousins are here, uh, my, the sisters of my mom are here. Finding time for family is always the best thing uh, in life. So thank you guys so much for watching and hope you guys enjoyed my vlog here in Palm Spring. See you in the next video.